Hello and welcome to the Borealis Experience. I'm your host Aurora and I'm very happy to be spending some time with you today. It is Monday and yeah, Monday and Thursdays are the days I publish my episodes and I usually only record my episodes shortly before except when it's interviews and because I love what I do so much it doesn't feel like ah now I have to do this I have to go to my room and record something for you it is something that truly brings me joy and to receive your feedback is so incredibly precious to hear your comments out to connect with you is just yeah such a blessing and this is why it doesn't really feel like work of course there's days where I feel not as motivated and creative as others but I feel it's a beautiful way to connect with people from all around the world and to share my thoughts, my feelings, my tips and tricks with people who might need them is um, is a source of, of deep satisfaction. If you ever feel ready to engage on a coaching journey with me, please don't hold back. It's an incredible journey that can be very fun and revealing and can be a little bit uncomfortable at times, but all in all, the people I've coached so far experienced a beautiful shift in their reality, in their life, in their way they perceive life and their relationships were able to go deeper. They were more clear about what they wanted in life. And it's just so beautiful to see a person blossom and get unstuck. It's just like when a truck gets stuck in the heavy mud or in this um, deep sand. And you get to empower people and provide people with tools that can help them, help them get unstuck. You can always reach out to me on Facebook and um, I'll be excited to hear you out and see if we are a match. Today I want to talk about silly little arguments. I thought about what I was going to talk about today and I was like, ah, oh, shit, there's so much going on in this world and chances are that you watch the news and you know that, yeah, we as humanity are going through a deep cir circle, um, times of darkness, despair and confusion. There's also people who thrive and are very happy and in a good place. But the majority of people is like suffering right now. And so I thought about our daily lives, even though there is, you know, big stuff going on in the world, we still have our daily lives. We still have our little conflicts that need resolution. And sometimes you can't find resolution right away. And sometimes you wonder, was that argument even necessary um, so that is what I want to talk about today. Sometimes there's energy building up inside of ourselves. You know, we consume content that irritates us, that scares us, that annoys us. And we have kind of that buildup of negativity inside of ourselves. And then we meet with our partner, with a friend, with a stranger, and they say something that deeply triggers us and now all of a sudden all that shit that has been uh, accumulated inside of us is being <laughs> unloaded into that little argument, into that situation, into that, you know, person 
thing that triggered us. And sometimes it's not fair because that person has nothing to do with our buildup from previous stuff, but they just said that wrong thing. They just did that wrong thing. And it just, yeah, gave us an opportunity to let it all out. Another thing I want to talk about is that sometimes our perception is so different. We perceive life so differently and we have a totally different interpretation when it comes to certain situations. For example, take a person A and person B watching an accident, a traffic accident happening. And you'll ask these people separately on what they saw. And sometimes you think that those people have been in different parts of the world, but certainly not at a similar location watching the same accident. And why is that? I believe that this is genetically a genetic disposition on how we perceive life, the experiences we have made, and so many more things play into how we perceive life. There has been re research done, for example, on children, because a couple of people noticed that hmm, there's some children in playgrounds that are very brave and they just climb around everything and you know, balance over cords or, you know, shaky bridges. And then there's other kids who prefer to play in the sand and don't want to engage in any kind of adventure. And if those kids who play in the sand and don't want to engage in, the, in any adventure are being placed on a bridge, they suddenly freak out and, and, you know, cry and want to crawl off that bridge. And it's, it's a very, you know, dramatic situation for them compared to the little guys who were balancing on the bridge all along and swinging as high as possible. And they noticed that children are wired very differently. And it doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl. It has nothing to do with gender. It has everything to do with your nervous system and how you process things and how you perceive something as dangerous. We all have a threshold when it comes to danger, when fear kicks in, when our nervous system feels triggered to fight or flight or freeze but it is all very very different when that state is being ignited and same goes with silly little arguments at times with our spouse with our partners with our siblings with parents we perceive a situation very differently than they do We express how we feel and for some reason they might not validate how we feel because they perceive the situation very differently. And it co can go the other way around as well that you are in an argument where you cannot make sense why the other person is feeling attacked or triggered or, you know, scared um, because you perceive a certain situation very differently. I want to share with you a quick little uh, story here. Uh, years ago, it was um, around daylight savings time. And uh, there was person A feeling very affected about the time change. Person A got up in the morning and felt drained. Person A went through the day and come 3 p.m. was not done with half of the to-do list that he or she want to get done and meets with his partner and the partner asks, how are you feeling? What's going on in your life today? 
And person A just says, hey, like that daylight savings is just throwing me totally off. I'm so tired. I feel rushed. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a mess today. And person B just <laughs> nearly falls off her chair and can, like, can't make sense of why daylight saving can affect you. It has no effect on her. So why would it have an effect on the other person? And so they start arguing and 15 minutes go by and after 15 minutes they both come to a conclusion and say, yeah, what the, what the heck are we actually arguing about? What is it all about? You have this view, this is how you feel about this situation. I have this view, this is how I feel about this situation. So this absolutely no point why we should argue about this because our perception is just so incredibly different ah i hope you can follow me i hope it's not all too confusing what i'm sharing with you today but i feel peace of mind peace in general starts with us we don't need to call on Putin or Ukraine or Russia or China or whatever is going on in the world right now, how are you dealing with your little micro-conflicts on a daily basis, if not on a daily basis, in your daily life? And this will show how resilient you are, how at peace you are with yourself and the people around you and how much you have insights about the other people around you and how much you're open to see that you can watch the same movie with five friends of yours and you will all see a different movie. We all operate on a different level and this is what makes life so incredibly juicy especially romantic relationships when two people come together and are completely open with each other because that is when you learn from another person. That is when you truly learn what makes the other person tick, who is the other person, what, what am I made of, what can I share with this other person and I explore this in my program that I'm just setting up for you guys and girls out there on how to yeah, explore your past, um, present or future romantic relationships and how to become a better lover, how to connect more deeply with the people around you. And the better we know how another person is perceiving the world, the better we get along with them. Because then we don't need to argue, then we don't need to try and make a point because we know, okay, that person is wired differently and it's totally valid because in the long run, I'm going to learn from them and it maybe adapt or not. It's totally fine, but I'm going to accept them for who they are and I'm going to make them feel validated on how they feel. And that is so extremely important does that mean that we have to overly compromise and that we're always going to be on the same page that we are never going to disagree again certainly not my dear conflict is always going to be part of human relations and it's healthy it is good a person who tries to avoid conflict at all cost is missing out on a lot of good information there because the way people argue with each other tells a lot about their relationship. Can they keep it calm? Can they, you know, keep it civil? Or is it very passionate, but they are not harming each other? Is it very destructive and violent? Um, then you need to get help from the outside. But arguments conflicts are always going to be there and it's a good thing you can't avoid them you shouldn't avoid them but what you can learn is to enter a conflict with a little bit more of an open mind and strong tools on how to um, get your point across 
um, at the same time being open to listen to the other person. But being firm with how you feel and then again open about to hear the other person out how they feel. This is what you'll be learning if you enter my coaching program about relationships. I'm very excited to create it for you right now and to make you a better partner, lover, friend, sibling, father, mother, whatever relationship you want to be working on. All right, I'll leave you with this for now. Take really good care of yourself. I will have a shower now and a big glass of water. And if you haven't drank enough water today, I encourage you to do that. And take a deep breath and know that creating peace inside of you is easier than you might think. And it is so incredibly critical in these crazy times that we live in. I'm so grateful to be able to serve you. I'm so grateful to be able to hear you out. And if ever you have a request when it comes to topics, please let me know and I'll make it happen. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye. Aurora.